Hey G Squad, welcome back to another episode of Is It Worth It? So for today's episode, we got this cool amazing power right here in my hand, which is a warmer for any kind of like cup or mug. So first thing first, let me actually unbox it to show you guys what it looks like and everything before we test it out. So when you first open the package, you can see this way I get inside. So I can see there's a cable that's attached to the coffee uh, warmer right here. And on the bottom, probably a little instruction guide on how to set a product and how to use it and all the different functionality that's on here. But here is the product itself, you can see. So all you have to do is just plug in this cable right here. Bottom, this is what it looks like. Very nice kind of material. It has an anti-slip material on the bottom. So so you guys won't have to worry about the product moving or whatever. The product itself is actually fireproof and waterproof. If you guys spill some water on here, you can just simply just wipe it off. But if you guys can see on the bottom right here, there is two different buttons right here. One is like a little timer schedule of like how long you guys want to use the product for and then the temperature setting is on here. So for the time right here, you can set from one to nine hours on here. And then for the heat temperature, you can set it to a high temperature or low temperature. So the only way for us to actually find out when it actually works and how well it works is to test it out. So let's go do that first and then come back and talk about the product. All right, so here we have the product right here. You guys can see the like a ceramic kind of cup. So pretty much how it works is that when you guys first get the product, you guys want to click this button to turn on the product and then it should be able to detect the cup or not. But for me, I'm using this cup right here and I've been having issues recognizing the cup. So I turn off the smart detection cup option by pressing and holding this button right here for 10 seconds and it turns it off. So if you guys want to turn that back on, all you have to do is press the button for 10 seconds to turn it back on. So right now I'm going to use it as a manual mode. So all you have to do is press this button. So we're just going to let this uh, heat up and see how long it takes to heat up and maintain the heat for the product. So it's been roughly around like a minute or so now and I definitely feel the product right here is getting hotter. Alright, welcome back guys. So now that you guys saw the test the product, you can see that she does work and that she works quite well. Um, the test itself, uh, I actually wasn't able to fully test it out of how well it works for like a long period of time. So I'll probably do like an update video to let you guys know. But if you can see the video, it definitely helped keep the uh, drink itself uh, really warm for like more than one hour or two hours, which is pretty amazing. So now that we tested the product now i want to talk about the topic of what kind of mugs or cup can you guys use so if you guys use like a glass teapot you guys can use it on here if you guys want to use like a nursing bottle for like feeding milk to your baby you guys can use that too to warm up the milk you guys can use ceramic you guys can use stainless steel you guys can heat up your uh, milk box if you guys want to do like kind of also feed milk to your baby or whatever but the type of glass that you guys can't use is double glass cups concave cup vacuum cup or any kind of like heat sensitive cups so that's definitely one thing to remember when you guys are getting this product to not use certain cups and which kind of cups you guys can use. And then the last and final thing I want to talk about this product is that they have an auto shut off mode. So if they sense that you guys are not using the product for more than five minutes, this product will automatically shut off. So that way it can protect you from any kind of like overcharge, over usage, or just any kind of incident that can happen uh, without you guys uh, noticing or whatnot. So that's basically everything for this product. Now to answer the question of whether or not it's actually worth it or not. So for me, honestly, I have to say that this is actually really, really worth it if you guys need one or want one. Like for me, I'm definitely gonna be using this a lot to heat up my tea, so that I am a tea person, so I wanna make sure my tea is always warm because nobody likes cold drinks or cold tea or cold coffee. But then obviously for those of you guys who don't want one or don't need one, then obviously don't buy and save your money for something else they actually do need. But other than that, that's pretty much it for a little unboxing, testing, and feedback about the product. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, then make sure to subscribe, like, and comment down below. And if you guys like this video and you guys want to see more, then make sure to click on that bell notification in the bottom to be notified of new videos that will be coming up in the future. But as always, make sure to stay positive, be you, and I'll see you guys in the next episode of Is It Worth It? Peace. And then for today, G-Squad fan shout out there we have...